Hi, hi, it's your friendly neighborhood VTuber Sui here again with a new tutorial. Today, I want to show you guys how to add Springbone Fusics to accessories. So then you will be able to do something like this Christmas hat here. So for this tutorial, you're going to be needing Blender and Unity. And of course your VRM file. So, shall we get started? Okay, so the first thing for us is to open up Blender. For this tutorial, we're just going to be making a wiggly stick, but you can apply the same mechanic to, let's say, a holiday hat or anything you want to actually wiggle around. So let's start with a box. And what we're going to be doing is we're just going to extruding that into slightly longer object so, so we select one of the faces and then we simply extrude it something like that maybe we can make it slightly longer still like so and now the next thing for us is to add bones to this one so we can do this pretty simply by going to the object mode then clicking the add and from here we go to the armature and then single bone and then we have a bone down somewhere and what we can do next is we can start to extrude that to see the bone we can go to the wireframe and as you can see the bone is here so now we want to make a bone to kind of cover the whole object so we go to the edit mode and we can start to extrude this object again by using this bone extrude thing here and then we could start moving it but as you can see it's not rotated correctly so what we need to do first is rotate this bone to face to the side pretty much like this and then we extrude it like so the amount of bones really depends on what you're doing. So I suppose this should be more than enough bones for it. Usually the first bone should work as a root, so you will not be moving that one around too much. Depending on, of course, how you use the object. But uh, I would say in most cases you don't want the root bone to be moving, since it's usually linked to some other part in your main model. Okay, so the next step is to link the bones to the mesh. And we do this by first selecting the mesh, like so, and then shift click the bones to select the bone structure. And after this, to link them together, you just control and P, like so. And this will parent them. And in here we are gonna go with the automatic weights so this will generate kind of like a automatic weight based on the bone location but this is not gonna be good enough for us of course so what we're gonna do is we need to go to the weight painting so select the mesh and then click here and change it to the weight paint mode and now you can see here the weight painting view. Now this is probably one of the most annoying parts of Blender, this weight painting or any 3D program in general. So what we need to do now is make sure that our root bone is linked to the part that will not be moving around. So we will need to find our bones by clicking this triangle looking icon here. And now you can select the bone in question and you will see which parts of the mesh it affects. And as you can see, the root bone affects this end pretty much. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this a bit more. Make it so that the root is kinda stationary here. Like so. And what we also want to make sure is that none of the other bones affect that specific part. And as you can see, only this bone 001 does affect it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set 
the weight to zero. And then we're gonna paint this to the bone, zero, zero, 001, to clear this first part. And now you can test this out by leaving this view first, so going to the layout again. And now if you select the armature, you can go to the pose mode. So the pose mode is where you can basically pose your mesh. And you can also use this pose as the default pose when your model gets imported to Unity. So here we can basically select any of the bones and move them around. And the mesh will also move around based on that, as you can see. However, for our purpose, we are just gonna keep it at the basic flat shape. So let's just undo all this, like so. And now what we're gonna do next is we are going to export our mesh as FBX file. So simply go to File, Export, FBX, and then just save it anywhere. Okay, so now that we have Unity open, and we have our VRM model loaded into Unity. The first thing we do is we're gonna drag in the new asset that we just saved. So just drag that in Unity. And once it has pr finished processing, you should see the preview image show up. And now if you open up the asset, you will see that it has both armature and the mesh. So, what we're going to be doing now is we need to open our VRM file. So click the VRM file and click the open prefab button. And now you can see the usual view of your VRM model. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be dragging the new asset we did to our model's hand. So open up the tree until you find your right hand or left hand or wherever you want to assign the new accessory. So in my case I want to attach it to hand bone. So select that one and then just drag the new asset there. Like so. And now it has been loaded up but as you can see the scaling is really bad so these need to be of course adjusted. Okay, and once you're happy with the result, you need to also move that in position. So make sure you are putting the right end. So as you can see, the root is now here. So we need to turn this object around. Like so. Okay, so now that it has been set in place, you could next create a material. I have covered this in my previous tutorial, so do check that one out. So what we're gonna do now is we need to create the spring bones for this model. And to do that, we are gonna go to the secondary object that you can find in your VRM. So just select that one. And this is where all the spring bones seem to be living right now. You could always place them elsewhere as well, but for now, let's just keep them all here. So what we need to do is click the add component and in the search you can start to type like spring bone or something and you should be able to find the VRM spring bone. And this is what you need to be adding. So click that one and now it added a new one here. Now, so you don't get totally confused what is what you could just add to the comment that this is just, let's say, wiggly stick. And what we're gonna do next is we need to drag the root bone to the center. So go all the way up here and then drag the root bone to the center like this. And now you need to open up this root bones part. As you can see, it says zero right now. So let's type there one and click enter. Now we can drag one element here. Now, depending on your uh, needs or what kind of uh, object you're adding, you need to drag one of these bones here. This is basically the bone 
the first bone that will be animated by the spring bone physics. So in our case, we're gonna put the bone 001 there, so the normal bone is gonna work, gonna work as a root bone or an anchor or something. So we just drag that in there. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna lower the stiffness. Let's set it to like 0.6 or something like that. And now we are basically ready to try this out in action. So just export your model the usual way and load it up in your tracker. Okay, and now that our model is in the tracker, let's see how it works. And as you can see, the wiggly thing wiggles around like so. And you can also probably see that the root does not wiggle, as we did set it. So this is why we started the spring bones only from the second bone, and we also removed the weights affecting the end of this wiggle stick. So yeah, you can use this mechanic to add a hat or to add a purple weird object, although keep in mind that in some streaming services uh, you may hit the TOS if you show something loot like that on the screen. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing down below as well as following me on all those social medias. Also, if you have any questions, you can also join my Discord server, it's listed down there in the description, or you can join my streams during Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday on Twitch and just ask the questions there. Okay guys, bye bye and see you next time!